a warm, more like heated welcome in California today for Donald Trump. One day after eclipsing the delegates needed to clinch the Republican nomination, Trump took his campaign to Fresno. Hundreds of protesters greeted him outside the convention center there. While the scene remained peaceful, violence erupted outside Trump's rally in San Diego. At least one person was arrested as protesters and police clashed. Inside the rally, Trump told supporters the safest place in America is at a Trump rally. He then went on to blast Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. Are these the greatest places, the Trump rallies? Are they the greatest, all right? The greatest. So, and by the way, the safest place to be in this country is at a Trump rally. That I can tell you. And we're going to take care of everybody, not just the people in this room, not just what the people in this room represent, which is largely love, because it is love. But we're going to take care of everybody, including people that don't know if they like the people in this room, because we're going to unify our country. We're going to take care of the Hispanics. We're going to get jobs. We're going to take care of the African Americans who are really suffering in this country. And Hillary Clinton can't do a damn thing for them, and she never will. And guess what? She doesn't want to, okay? She couldn't care less. Right now, we want to bring in Carter Evans. Yeah, he yeah, is yeah, in yeah. No, San Diego. Talking. Carter, if you could hear me, I just want to get um, a sense of the temperature there where you're at. Well, it's certainly been an interesting day, and I would say that there was not a significant amount of violence. There was a lot of energy here today. The one reason there wasn't a whole lot of violence is because of the line of police that you see here. There is an imposing force here today, several hundred police officers from 18 different agencies. They've confirmed that at least one person has been arrested, but I've seen a couple taken into custody today. Uh, the side that we're looking at here, these are the protesters. All of Donald Trump's supporters were inside the convention center, which you see behind them there. What the police did today was they kept the protesters pretty much separate from the supporters, and that really helped out uh, with the clashes over the last couple of hours here. But we have seen supporters coming out of the rally here and confronting some of the protesters, and that's been causing a few skirmishes over the last hour or half hour. Let's see if we can get in here. I see a bloody guy in here. Uh, you see that guy with the shirt? He's holding the shirt up to his face. Let's kind of see if we can figure out what happened to him. It looks like there was some activity here just a minute ago. Were you here protesting this was a Trump Donald supporter? Trump? I was protesting Donald Trump, yeah. What's your name? Jack Schwartz. I'm going to be pressing charges against this man. What, what, tell us what happened. Me and, my friend, me and my friends, we're out here. And he just socks me in the face. He was intimidating us verbally, and then he started coming over towards us, grabbed us, pulled us away. And my friend was getting atta attacked by this guy. I pulled one guy off. The next guy comes in, socks, socks me right here. Is my nose broken? So you know, I guess we have seen a little violence. This is the first bloodshed that I, I've seen here at the rally. This guy explaining that he got into a bit of a skirmish with a Trump supporter here. You heard his version of events. I'm sure there's another side of that story as well. But you can kind of get an idea of how thick the crowd is here right now. Again, we're pretty much standing in the midst of Donald Trump protesters. But then across the street on the other side of the police there, that's where most of the supporters have been. And the clashes today, Christine, have been limited. And Carter, just curious of the exchanges that you were able to witness, um, what, were th what were they saying to each other if you were able to hear any of the conversation? Well, you know, I can tell you they were saying things that I cannot repeat on television. There were a lot of choice words used today, and a lot of them we can't, uh, we can't, we can't uh, use I, I on TV. It. But I it was a lot it. of shouting back and forth, Christine. I, I get it. The, uh, the temperature not only hot there, I'm sure the emotions hot as well, Carter. And as far as how the police prepared for this, the local police there, I know you said there was a big presence, um, a lot of preparation, obviously, in, in anticipation of these crowds there today. Yeah, 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 hundreds of police officers, 18 different agencies here. They were prepared. For the most part, at least what I saw, they were very calm. And there were only a couple of times when they had to move in and intervene. Uh, one time it was right in front of me. Something happened on the crowd 
down below. The police were standing on a platform above. Uh, they yanked one of the protesters up. The protesters grabbed the guy's legs. It was a human tug of war between police and protesters. Eventually, police won. They cuffed that guy and removed him from the area. Exactly what he was doing, I didn't see, but he was one of several people that I saw taken into custody today. All right, Carter Evans, thank you for that update. We do appreciate it.